Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw snake eyes from G.I. Joe. It's going to be just a head drawing. Uh, it's going to be really, really simple because we're going to be using mostly dark uh, colors. Uh, well, no colors, but we're really going to just use a dark, but it'll be, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's really exciting. Um, there's going to be a movie coming out, so that's why I'm drawing snake eyes from G.I. Joe. It's going to be simple, easy for beginners. I'm going to be using this. A Crayola brand marker so you can use anything you want. Um, I do have a recommendation list in the you know like the description you can check that out also I'm using regular printing paper um, but that's pretty much it we're pretty much set with that um, this is a good time to subscribe if you like anything like G.I. Joe <laughs> I mean obviously it's really old but if you like things like you know Among Us, Fortnite, you know Pokemon uh, Spongebob, if you like anything, I go over how to draw anything and everything on this channel. I make it easy, I make it enjoyable, uh, and I try to make it as short as possible. That's the key. I want to make it short. I, none of these go over like 10 minutes, usually. So, let's start. Ha! Sorry, I only got a breath. Uh, Alright. So, I'm going to start over here with, uh, Stinka says it's like cool visor thing going on. So, it's going to be like a V-shape right here. Again, we're doing just the upper head. I mean, some shoulders up. So I'm going to line there. Line up. All right. Going to go down here. Because it's going to have a pretty big visor. Copy that shape. And copy that shape as well. So those are these two shapes are mirror images of themselves. Curve here. Curve here. It's gonna have like this circular thing on his ear. <laughs> We're gonna kinda take it more or less all the way around. And you can do this stuff kind of like step by step. You don't have to do like one circle like I like. I didn't even do that. See, I did it in chunks as well. Line down here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull down so that the side of the face here. Pull down. They pull down a little bit more. So we're going from the side of the cheek down to the chin. Fold back. Okay, that's the bottom of the chin. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go up here, and it's going to be the side of his jaw. Here, like so. And then I'm going to pull up. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So let's go to his forehead. I never really watched, uh, well, I watched the movie G.I. Joe, both of them. Uh, I don't think I watched... I mean, it's going to be the new movie. I'm definitely going to watch the new movie, G.I. Joe. I didn't really watch the series that much when I was growing up. It's an 80s series, I believe. Curve over here. And I'm going to keep curving for the top of that head. All right, that's the top of the skull. I'm going to pull it down now. It's going to kind of run either right next to or through that ear part right there. Alright. Whew. Don't forget. Um, you know, uh, let me know what you think in the comments, or maybe like your idea, your, uh, kind of your opinion of G.I. Joe, because I feel like a lot of people don't even know what G.I. Joe is, even though there was a movie like 10 years ago, right? Gonna go over here, pull down. For that visor. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna go over here the about the middle of the chin, and I'm gonna pull out the other side of the neck. And I'm going to pull down over here, maybe in a step ladder shape. It's more like a scarf or something. Go over here. And I'm going to pull. He has a sword in the back. He has two swords, but I'm going to put one of them there. I draw a straight line back. Curve. And then down. Line out here. All right, for the sword, I'm gonna actually do this. I'm gonna break it up at the top for the you know very edge of the sword, and I'm gonna draw two lines from then on because the handle kind of looks like that. And there's no rule on how much spacing there is. It's just kind of just kind of do it, you know. 
Uh, hopefully you guys are doing great. Um, it's it's yeah, I'm hearing a lot of good things from people in the comments that people are doing well with the drawings. So, you know, never give up. That's one thing you should never do. Hold down. That's a line for the neck, and you'll see what I'm about to do, actually. So there's something that they do in a lot of his drawings. They put like a light and a dark. And so we're gonna put like a like we're gonna fill in a lot of this side in dark, but we need to be able to see these lines. How do we do that? Um, actually, we're not even gonna do that yet. I'm gonna go out right here and I'm gonna split his visor. I'm gonna split it down, maybe like I don't know, five divisions, both directions. So see how it goes like this. That one got close. Like so. We draw a circle inside here. This is what that thing looks like. Looks like a computer part. Then I'm gonna draw another thin cutout right there. Because it's kinda it gives it depth. It's gonna be a line here, because that's where they kinda sew his um, I guess mask on. So now I'm going to think about that dark and light I told you about. So this side is going to be more dark, but how do I make that dark without completely covering up my line art? Well, the, the answer is you have to leave a strip of line right there so that you can tell. So I'm going to do that with this, and I'll show it to you. I'll do it all the way down. Do that here. Right? So now it has a line. Do the same thing here. Leave a little bit of a white line exposed and then fill in the bottom same thing right here same thing I just go all the way down leaving that thin line Alright, and then we want to throw a little bit of a shine on this side, so I'm probably going to do the same thing, but leave that little line right here, leave a little bit of a white line exposed there, but I'm going to, it's going to travel all the way down this shine right here. Okay, don't worry, it'll come together, I know it looks kind of crazy right now. Curve line here. And I'm actually going to let it touch here, but this one, also white line showing, and then I'm going to continue down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this. I wish we did this on computer, because then, oh man, I said I was going to take shorter, and I didn't. Dang, this one's going to be a little bit of a longer video, just because it's a little bit more complex than some of the kawaii stuff. I'm going to fill this in. Look, oh, that's why I kind of uh, always say you should use a marker. You don't have to use a marker, but um, it will help a lot if you do. As far as with stuff like this, we have to fill in stuff really quick. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna fill in this side as well. Alrighty. I know it's funny, it's funny, the first time I'm promoting uh, some of these things is being short where this video is gonna take a little bit longer. Pulling a line down, out here, exposing the under chin there, and then I'm gonna fill this all, all this whole thing black. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fill this whole thing black. I'm not gonna leave a white line on that side this time. So you're really you're really using your black marker a whole lot, or using black ink quite a bit. So kind of be careful with that. I might use it up. Um, so be be aware of that because it's it's cr pretty vital that you don't kill your marker, right? Just with one drawing. All right. Continuing to fill this in.
All right. I'm gonna throw a little bit here because this this thing is round. So I'm gonna draw. Like I'm gonna do that as well because there's a little bit of shine everywhere. And then the inside of this, I'm gonna make dark as well. Curve over here. Line over here. And I'm gonna fill a lot of this part under the neck here. That's the reason why I left that white line there. It's almost like you're drawing backwards, kind of? Like you're leaving negative space. Um, and I'm going to just kind of put a line here as a vignette. A vignette is where you kind of end the drawing attractively. You try to end it as attractively as you can. Um, right? Like a head bust or um, what else is there like that? Head bust. There's other stuff, really. Um, and we can draw a line right here to show the reflection on the um, actual sword itself. Just draw a line. Like so. And that's pretty much it. That's a very quick snake eyes from G.I. Joe. Oh, man. This, some of this stuff's like showing right here. I'm going to fill in some of these empty areas here they'll just blend in but i don't like that it looks weird okay that is pretty much it so there's a muscle right here that's what kind of this line shows if you have any questions absolutely ask me i'm super super available hit me up hit me up guys in the comments and i'll answer anything you have nobody asks questions <laughs> nobody asks questions about the actual drawing it's usually just oh nice drawing you know i'm glad thank you very much i appreciate it but a lot of this is about you like are you going to be able to learn this um Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm Enrique. Reach out to me. Uh, share the video, by the way. If you like this video, absolutely share it. And press the like, because then that lets me know what I need to put more of on the channel. You are amazing. I'm going to be doing this throughout the rest of the year. And uh, yeah, see you guys.